What's going on? We are back. We're going to be talking about a pretty old Levi's jacket. Nothing crazy though. Make sure you guys can see this. All right. So the Levi's jacket, I picked this up. I paid like 40 bucks for it. So I definitely paid up a bit. Uh, I only found one online that was similar to this. It's like a denim material that's been dyed. So it's not like a leather jacket. The one I found online was like a double XL. So not the most desirable size. This is like an XL could, well, it's like a medium, I think, but it fits like an XL. It's very big. Yeah, it's medium. Definitely could fit like an XL. So it is going to be a early 80s, late 70s uh, Levi's jacket. So you can tell it's a small E right here. As you guys can see, let me get this up. So you can see it right here, little E. But interesting tags, extremely large patch on the inside. So you can look up this style code. There's only like one other one online from what I found. Uh, it's like 170, something like that. I think it had been dry cleaned, maybe not. Uh, it looks like it had this patch was like glued in here. I assume this is from being dry cleaned, but pretty nice. Has a interesting size tag, uh, just a little medium right here. You can see, it says medium. Um, anything else? Yes, I think there's a tag here. Made in USA on this tag. Let me show you guys this. Oh, Levi's care tag, made in USA. And then what's it say on the back? Anything good? You guys are pretty good at this dating it. Um, this might help you if you're trying to, but there you go. I know some people know how to date it off of that tag. I know it tells you a little bit about it. And it has the type three trucker jacket to it as you guys can see uh the levi's the suede one i think it is that has the big e the jacket that's a very nice jacket here let me try this on for you guys so you can see it but this one overall really good jacket i like the fit to it more than anything and it was only 40 bucks i normally don't come across anything that is vintage levi's or vintage anything vintage is very hard to find at least for me lately you know, occasionally I'll come across a bunch of vintage at once, but it doesn't happen very often. It has the corduroy around the neck, nice touch. Let's see, very deep pockets on the inside also. Extremely, they go all the way down. Um, 527 is on the buttons on the inside. You guys can see that. I'm not sure if it's gonna focus, but 527, so pretty nice jacket paid 40 bucks will hold on to it unless i sell it for more but you know it's just something i don't see very often from any levi's pieces it has a hole right there another hole i think right here as you can see but something you just don't see often cool piece i like it a lot i'll hold on to it probably for the fall try and sell it online if no one grabs it but a lot of Levi's pieces, I have seen a lot of people from Japan buying them lately, um, especially with that eBay international shipping, if you guys have seen that. A very helpful tool. Oh, this is a nice touch also. Look, didn't even notice this before. So the cuffs, if you roll them, they're corduroy, just like the collar right here, both the cuffs are. See, the outside isn't, the inside is. That's pretty nice. I like that touch. But I know nothing is as uh, sought after as the 501s, but the random jackets, the random corduroy they did in the 80s, 70s, very nice, very good quality, um, especially now. It's kind of like hard to find, but they have so many different colorways of the corduroy pants. If you guys have seen those, I have a pair of red ones, but there is so many out there of them. I mean, there's all the like, very bright colors too that they you don't see for the pants really you have yellow you have red you have blue and the bright colors too not just like a dark navy blue very bright here's what it looks like when it's rolled up as you can see it has a collar to match cool piece again i paid 40 bucks for it so i got this at a flea market they were not charging for the cheap there because i knew what they kind of had i asked them if they had any older clothes this is what they brought out so still, I was just like, 
you know, I never find anything old. It's Levi's on top of it, which I like a lot. Might as well pick it up. You guys, let me know in the comments if anyone's out there looking for vintage clothes. Let me know if it's getting harder for you guys to find them. I feel like all these uh, stores and people are like catching on to vintage and then the people who are looking for vintage, when they find it, they will buy it all up. So it's like, it is very hard to find clothing if that's what you're looking for right now. At least for me, you know, it's not the, especially like the true vintage. All right, I can find some pieces from like the 80s, 90s. That's like not even hard for me to find, in my opinion. Uh, it's anything like older than that, in the 70s. I found a bunch of 80s single stitch tees. They were like Cape May, okay? So it's just like a random place in the US, nothing special. But I find like, I find a true vintage pair of Levi's, that's very hard to do. Uh, I rarely see that happen nowadays. Anything I'm finding is something that's more commonly produced. Um, nothing crazy high in the value either, as far as like, maybe I'll find a couple $60 pieces as far as clothing goes, you know. Um, other things may differ, but clothing, it's just not really out there as much as uh, you might think it is. But you can look for the other brands, like the women's brands, I think is something good to look for. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later.